Welcome. So what I'd like to do is show you how to um, uh, determine the number of sides if I'm only given one exterior angle of a regular polygon. And just like when we're determining the measure of one interior angle, from given one exterior angle, I have to make sure um, that my uh, rules are saying that I'm only dealing with regular polygons. And when I'm only dealing with regular polygons, I know that I can use uh, this equation, which says the interior angle is equal to the number of sides minus 2 times 180 divided by the number of sides. And then this one is the sum is equal to the number of sides minus 2 times 180. However, this doesn't have to be a regular polygon. This is just for any polygon uh, for whatever the sides. So I know that the measure of the angle is 120 degrees. So if we are going to think about 120 degrees, all right, um, remember exterior angles. And I'll draw a hexagon here because I don't know what, how many sides there are. So let's pretend the number of uh, the exterior angle okay, for this is 120 degrees. Now remember, the difference, um, the exterior angle and the interior angle are a linear pair. That means they are supplementary, right? And so therefore, we can see that if that's 120 degrees, then this has to be 60 degrees because since they're a linear pair and supplementary, they have to add up to 180. Now, obviously, a hexagon is not going to work because you can see 120 degrees is, is an acute angle, and the 60 degrees is an obtuse, which would not make sense. Um, however, what that does tell me is the measure of my interior angle is now 60 degrees. So now I can use that information to solve for n. right? So I don't even actually even need to draw a picture of it. I just need to know if, given the exterior angle, how to find the interior angle, and then use the formula. So I know the measure of one interior angle is 60 degrees, and I just need to solve for the number of sides. So now, to do that, I get n off the bottom by multiplying by n on both sides. n's divide out on the right side, and then I have 60 degrees times n equals, apply distributive property, 180 degrees n minus 360 degrees. Now, I go ahead and solve, so I add 360 degrees on both sides. What am I doing? I don't want to add 360 degrees on both sides. I need to get the ends to get by, um, I need to get the ends together, right? So I'm going to subtract 180 degrees on both sides. Therefore, I get 120 degrees n equals negative, sorry, negative 100 degrees n equals negative 360 degrees. Now I'll divide by negative 120 degrees. And therefore, my final answer is n equals 3. So therefore, I have a three-sided figure, not a six-sided figure. And I can go and draw that. And let's just go and double check. So I have an equilateral triangle right, where all the measures of the interior angles is 60 degrees. And I was only provided one exterior angle. And you can see that, yeah, if that's 60 degrees, then that has to be 120 degrees for them to be a linear pair and supplementary. So it makes sense. So when given one exterior angle, determine the interior angle, use this formula to determine the number of sides, which in this case is 3. So therefore, we have a triangle. Thanks.